Sports. So, guys, um, let's do this quick. Um, a lot of reactions um, have come um, on the Blaster Squad list um, against Nigeria uh, on social media. And currently, uh, former Blasters captain Asamoah Jan on Twitter, um, he's very um, furious about the Blasters um, squad exclusion of uh, former Wafa Mefoda, Abdul Majid Ashimeru. Um, so, uh, Jan is very furious about um, the exclusion of um, Majid Ashimeru. And on Twitter, Asamojan said, This guy, Majid Ashimeru, is the best midfielder in Ghana after Thomas Taipa, the period. I've kept quiet on this, but this nonsense must stop. And he, he said, um, SMH, shaking my head. So, that's um, Asamojan for you, Asamojan. Um, it's unhappy that the Blaster squad name um, 27 man provisional squad with a lot of methods without the inclusion of uh, Majid Ashimeru. And so that's um, Asamojan for you. He's a Blaster former captain and a Ghanaian legend as well. So Majid Ashimeru is a good player uh, by our standard. Um, nobody can, can, can take that away from um, what um, Asamojan is saying. He's a good player. Um, this season alone, the 2021-2022 season, and the Belgian Pro League, he plays for Anderlecht. He has played 31 matches, has scored three goals and three assists. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, so, uh, Jan um, is not far from right. Um, he's, he's whatever he's saying. Um, um, he has some a bit of truth and has some basis as well. So, Jan for your summer, Jan, furious about um, the exclusion of Abdul Majid Ashimeru from the Blaster squad list. Uh, Majid Ashimeru formerly played for um, Wafa here in Ghana before moving to uh, Red Bull Salzburg, then later joining Anderlecht. Uh, he's a good method, he's a good method that uh, majority of us. Um, um, we're looking uh, up to that the blasters will give him some opportunity but hey the coaches uh, or the tanker team no 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 knows why the the excluded um Majid Ashimeru from the squad list but still i don't understand frankly speaking i don't understand uh, why uh, Majid Ashimeru won't get opportunity to play in a game like this. Uh, so that's it. So another uh, update is that um, Crystal Palace striker Jordan Ayu won't be av available for this particular game. Do his name in the squad uh, in, uh, against Nigeria, but he won't be available in the uh, squad uh, or the Ghana, the Ghanaian team for uh, Nigeria tie because of the COVID related issue. Uh, he tested positive for COVID-19. And so he went to test again this time around and still uh, Jordan tested positive. Uh, so um, his availability will depend on the test results again. So let's wait and see. Jordan, are you for you? So Jordan is out um, currently, but we are waiting to see if Jordan uh, will get um, the results negative. Then uh, we'll see what will, will happen. A lot of reaction on social media and people are saying a uh, whole GFA doesn't know the team uh, Joseph play uh, Joseph Edu plays because uh, Joseph Edu uh, GFA um, squad list that came out uh, the club uh, that he plays they said FC Bordeaux but he plays for uh, <laughs> Celta de Vigo uh, so that's it uh, a lot of people are also wondering why Jordan Ayo names was included in the squad was we know his um COVID-19 uh, positive so that's it as well uh when you go to twitter Samojan and blasters they are trending i mean Samojan baby jets and uh, blasters um they are trending so uh, that, 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 that that's that's it so uh, some uh, news about um Dennis Corsa some transformation in the three months for um Dennis Corsa in the year uh, 2022 that we are in, uh, the month of January, he joined House of Folk from uh, relegated Ibusuna Dwarfs. February 2022, he, he, uh, he has made his debut. Uh, February 2022, 
um, Dennis Kwasa made debut for um, House of Folk. Then March 2022, the only local player to make Blaster Squad for World Cup um, playoff. So um, that, 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 that's it. So uh, people are sharing a lot of I mean, views also on social media. Uh, then Dennis Odoy. Uh, on Blasters, I mean, squad list. He started three years. He plays for um, Genk uh, or FC Bruch in um, Belgian Pro League. So these are the things that um, people do not know about um, the Blasters um, team. And so that's it. Asamoja uh, still training on the um, social media space. Then yesterday, to Thomas Tere Party handed. Um, JC to uh, Mr. Gabi Ochridako. Uh, he's the nephew to the President of the Republic of Ghana. Uh, so he, Mr. Ochridako, after receiving Thomas Tepati's Asna JC, he posted on Twitter. He said his name is Thomas Tepati and he's arrived and ready to um, clip the wings of the eagle that is still green on the pitch as far as the black stars are concerned. Hashtag GH Naija. Yeah, so that's it. So a lot of things are going on. And today, the Blasters will move from um, Accra to Kumasi to begin camping officially. Yesterday, seven players were in camp and they had a training at Accra Sports Stadium. So that's it. A lot of people are sharing their views about the Blasters squad list against Nigeria. So let's see um, what uh, all others have to say. Then, um, Elisha Owusu who also had a maiden call-up into the Blasters team. Um, or uh, After touching down yesterday at the Kutuka International Airport, shared his views about um, his call-up into the Blasters team. Um, the uh, gang player, he said uh, he's elated and um, ready to play for the Blasters of Ghana as we want to see, uh, as the Blasters team want to uh, make uh, their appearance in the World Cup. Uh, I mean, Qatar 2022, and he believes that uh, this playoff against Nigeria comes with a lot. And with, uh, we, 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 we spoke to him at length, and the player um, is poised and ready uh, for the game against Nigeria. Um, he, we asked him about, um, he has the opportunity to have played for France, but he chose Ghana, and he said, hey, uh, this is Ghana, and, he, and he, all his life, all he wanted to do for Ghana is to one day wear the colors for the national team or any of our national teams. But hey, today he has the opportunity to play for the Blasters of Ghana against Nigeria. So that's Elisha Usu for you. Let's listen or watch what Elisha Usu said when we met him at Kotoka International Airport on his arrival for the Blasters game against Nigeria. How was the feeling like when you had the competition to come and play for the Blasters? I was uh, very, very happy. I was very, very proud. I was thinking about my parents. And uh, my parents were so happy. I followed the Ghana national team since I was a kid. And for me, it was a, a big, 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 big uh, achievement and blessing to be here. You had the opportunity to play for France. Why did you decide to play for France? Uh, because I always want to play for Ghana. I want to play for the country of my parents. I want to play for my country, Ghana. And uh, because uh, I feel like he's here, I want to play. So I wait and I feel like I'm ready to play for Ghana. Have you been how watching big, the how big is time? How big is this invitation to you and your career? How big is it? It's, uh, it's amazing. It's a big, 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 big uh, color because, like, we fight to play the World Cup. I think every player wants to play the World Cup, so I think I'm so, so happy and excited also. If you look at what's happening on social media, Ghana, Nigeria, the rivalry alone, what is happening to you in your system now in terms of expectations on the DD? I think uh, every player wants to play this kind of game. I think, like, uh, we know that it's a big, big game. We know that uh, it will be hard for us. But we are Ghana, and uh, I think uh, we hope and we want to play the World Cup, so we'll do everything to be in the World Cup. Are you hoping to get a starting lineup in your first lineup? I'm uh, ready for the coach, so if the coach calls me, I will be ready. If the coach put me on the bench or outside, I will be ready. I, I'm here to, to learn and bring what I have to do. Now, Elisha, finally, what did really the coaches say that motivated you and excited that if I come, with my team, we are going to make sure that Ghanaian smile at the end of the day by winning. Uh, I would say like 
when the coach of Ghana called you, you were so happy because uh, like for me it was a, a dream coming true to come and play for Ghana. So I think we will give everything for the Ghanaian people and we try to, to win this game for, for, for Ghana. How do you see Ghana's chances against Ghana? Ghana uh, Nigeria is a, is a big, big team. I think everybody is aware of it. But I think Ghanaian also we have a, a chance. So we will do everything to, to try and win this game. Tell Ghanaian something. Tell Ghanaian something. 30 seconds. Tell Ghanaian something. We told them that I'm very, very happy for the love they show me. I'm very, very proud to, okay. to be here and I will do everything to, to make them proud. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. So this is Legend of Sports. Kindly subscribe, like and comment and continue to share our content as well. Um, whatever happens from the camp of the Blasters, we'll be here to give you an update. Thank you. Enjoy Legend of Sports. Legend of Sports.